right, our commitment to our yoga practice continues Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 a.m. We're in the studio bright and early. And yeah, so Brooke today is starting with a 10 minute meditation. Let's do some yoga. Yoga was really, really good this morning. I'm trying to do this thing 2021 where I'm not just blabbing on and on and on to the camera. That's a big reason why I have the vlog segments is to kind of keep me in line, keep me on track and show you a glimpse into what I'm doing and my life. Right now, we're just editing the vlog and we gotta get our beginning of week vlog posted. If you haven't seen the beginning of this week, go click the link right now and go and check that out and then come back. Hit that like, hit that subscribe and uh, follow along the journey because right now this is about icon, but we're gonna go beyond. This is me sharing my life, sharing my progress, sharing where my music's at, sharing my thoughts, sharing some of the hard stuff too, right? So really grateful. Anyways, just ranted for five minutes and I'm supposed to be cutting down on my ranting. Yeah, rest of the day, vlog gonna get it posted we worked on our track for next week's mentor session really liking that one i was gonna make a segment with it then i wasn't now i think i might i don't know you know i think it would be cool to to see what i'm doing uh each step with this so maybe i'll do an entire vlog or live stream with me just trying to come up with ideas all right let's get back to the vlog good morning everyone it is friday january 15th we're in the studio and our main goal today is to get our Ableton Checkpoint project handed in. We also have the very first Q&A of 2021 coming up and I could not be more excited. As per usual, we are going to do a deep dive into this artist's background. And then after the Q&A, I will recap what was discussed. Icon does these exclusive Q&As that are actually available in what is called the Hexacon. If you're not a current student, but you're like, oh my God, these guys are my favorite, or you know of a past Q&A, well, they actually record most of them. So you can go back and watch if your favorite artist has already come through. Really, really excited. These Q&As just remind me why I'm here, like in a big way. Uh, it's so motivating to listen to these artists connect the dots of their story from the beginning to where they are now. That There's almost no better inspiration in my mind. Easily one of the top three highlights about attending ICON are these Q&As. We are gonna make sure we nailed every step of this Ableton Checkpoint project and then get it handed in and then get ready for the Q&A. You know what time it is. Keys assignment, absolutely love these. Let's see if we can nail it on the very first go. As usual, bringing both hands together is quite a challenge for me. I got 36%, so we need to keep practicing. That's really all you can do with this. So, you know, as I said before, we are still pretty well at the beginning of our 18 month long journey with Icon. So I'm absolutely pumped to see in 16, 17 months, looking back now compared to then, where I'm gonna be with my keyboard skills. So we're gonna keep practicing and uh, we'll nail it. We're gonna get on this, and then we're just waiting for Ableton assignment to get marked, and then we are done level two. Woo! We've unlocked rank number 12. Our first rank unlock of the new year, and I am feeling good. Let's see what prize we got this time. Congratulations, you have achieved rank 12. Your reward this time is a custom skin for serum that you can use while you're working on the synthesis lessons. Now that is nice. I got the old one too. See old icon colors. The official 
Icon Collective Serum Skin. So we are about five minutes away from our Q&A with Drulo, and I am absolutely stoked. This project is a combination of a visual artist and music producer as a duo, basically. I haven't really seen anything like this, but I'm already super intrigued and inspired. Some of the album artwork I was listening on Spotify last night just was next level. Drulo, hailing from the Netherlands, is a creative union of music producer and composer Vincent Ruiers, probably butchering my Dutch there, with visual designer Hein Hamers. Part music and part visual project, Drulo is a multi-dimensional project that combines each member's artistic prowess to create a hybrid audiovisual experience that translates across every component of the project on and off the stage. Weaving sonically progressive music and visually elaborate artwork, Drulo seamlessly crafts cinematic soundscapes and visual projections that feel like stories and unfold like a piece of art. Recognized in Billboard Dance's inaugural Ones to Watch series, who noted that their style is dynamic, compelling, and drenched in otherworldly emotions, Drulo is today one of the most exciting live art projects in the scene. As we do with these Q&As, there's a little history on the artist, and then post q and I'm gonna come back, give a recap, and let you know how it went. Wow, I'm blown away. Just an absolute visionary. Completely humble, and the thing that I got most from this Q&A is just the storytelling perspective. N not so much like completely having the entire vision, but just like understanding the importance of his entire concept as an artist, as a project, visually, musically, everything needs to be coherent and really have a message and a story. And that really, really, really speaks to me. Yeah, I, I don't have anything else to say, to be honest. It was an amazing, amazing Q&A. And if you haven't heard of Drulu, you should definitely go check them out. What a way to start the new year with this first Q&A. All right, welcome back to another episode of Future Fridays. This is gonna be a super, super quick little tutorial. And if you didn't know, Future Fridays is where I show you something that stood out for me this week at Icon Collective. Like I said, very simple. And this is all about your record arm and your solo. Here's what happened. So I'm going along and it was when I updated my Ableton this happened. And so I'm going along and you could see me soloing all these. Well, every time I solo one, it just adds another solo. And I'm like, well, what the heck is this? Like, it's never done that before. And you know, when I go like that, so it's doing it all one by one. And I want it to just solo the one track that I select. And this goes the same for record arm. See, record arm is doing it the way that I want it to do. It is only selecting one. And so here's how to change that. Open up your preferences and under record warp launch you go to the record section you go to exclusive as you saw arm was doing it the way i wanted it to do solo is not selected so if we turn this on now we should be able to go back here and every time we press solo it does it individually say i had you know a super saw sound here and a pluck sound here and i and for whatever reason i had them on two different channels and i wanted to play them well all you have to do is hold down command and select either that is my little tip. Like I said, short and sweet. Hopefully, if you didn't know that, this helps you and it will speed things up for you like it did for me. All right, that is it for Future Fridays. All right, well, Saturday, June 16th. And you know what? We didn't vlog today. All part of just, not just turning this on to talk to the camera for no reason, kind of like I am now. <laughs> Actually, today we went and discovered a ton of amazing baseline presets and we were able to create something really, really cool. All part of this, no pressure on myself to release and I'm just trying to make music, write music. Let me show you this real quick and then that'll be it. All we did was kind of just check things out and, and just played around the keyboard all day. Don't, 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 don't,
I think that that is sounding amazing. Really inspired by Andrew Bayer, Fatum, Elon Bluestone, a bunch of these like crossover Anjuna beats, Armada artists. But just trying to also kind of like just test the waters and kind of follow my own heart, follow my own ideas with this. Anyways. We didn't vlog much on the back half of this week. It's making more time for writing music for our weekly mentor session. I need to have a track done. And then also, you know, when inspiration strikes and you, and you write something unique like this, it feels pretty good. So it is Saturday, which means tomorrow is the start of a new vlog week. And yeah, we're doing a Star Wars marathon right now. So that's what we're gonna do. See you next week.